Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be installing a 454 Crusader motor into uh, my buddy's boat. Um, I didn't do the video of the removal of this engine. I probably should have, but I didn't. But we sent this motor out. It ended up dropping a valve and grenading uh, inside one of the cylinders. So we sent it out to a company in Spokane. They rebuilt it and they sent it back to us. And now it is time to reassemble it and drop it back in the boat. And this is kind of an interesting deal because when we take it over to or where we got it moored at, you have to use a little barge and you pull it with his dinghy, you put this on the barge and tool it around to the back of the boat and he's got a chain hoist inside of his boathouse and it's a whole epic procedure and it's kind of fun actually. So uh, I decided to go ahead and record the installation for this one. But the first things first, we gotta get this thing on the engine stand. Um, I got a um, explosion of parts here that we've got cleaned up and some things are repainted. So we're going to get these uh, as many items as we can on the engine uh, before we take it down to, uh, to where he's got it moored at. All right, at this point, uh, we're putting uh, the gaskets on and the RTV for the front and rear of the intake manifold. <clears throat> I put the block off plates for the crossover uh, to keep the th uh, throttle body or your carburetor warm, whichever one you're running. <clears throat> Getting ready to set down the intake manifold here. <clears throat> Going through the torque procedure in the sequence order and torque spec. Uh, I don't remember. I think the torque spec was like 35 foot pounds on these ones. All right, pretty self-explanatory at this point. Gaskets on the valve covers. Put the valve covers down. Torque bolts for the valve covers. I don't know if I actually used the torque for that. I think I just tightened them because I think there's some bracketry I'm gonna have to put in later on the engine. Um, the exhaust manifold on the other side. Uh, you might have noticed earlier on I used zip ties to hold the uh, gasket in place so we can line the bolts up and I just cut them off just there water pump. I like to put some uh, RTV on both sides of the gasket here. This might be a bit overkill, um, but it seems to hold pretty good, prevent leaking. Uh, we struggled to find some bolts. Um, this engine was sent out months ago, and uh, we've forgotten a lot since then. If we were smart, we would have taken pictures and everything, but uh, the best we could do was put things in Ziploc bags and label them, and it worked for the most part, but there were still a few things we couldn't remember, and so we took a lot of time and a lot of back and forth to figure out where all the equipment was mounted on the front here you see us putting the alternator in the uh, bracket for the remote oil filter now we're hooking up the uh, fuel supply side there you see the uh, um, electric fuel pump down there and our fuel filter and fuel lines and such um, later on you'll see the stainless steel lines that go up to the throttle body and the filter up at the top um, but at this point, again, we're still kind of going back and forth, trying to figure out mounting. Uh, also, you see down there the mount for the uh, motor mount. So we got the engine uh, mostly fully assembled. There's some things we're going to do when we get it to the boat. Um, we got the intake manifold on, the valve covers on, exhausts on. Uh, we got the water pump on. All the fuel lines are ran. We got the motor mounts on. Um, so this is basically a fully assembled we just drop it into the boat um, 
motor mount on this side. We've got an oil drain here. When it's in the boat, it's really hard to drain the oil from that spot, so we've got a remote oil drain. We've got a remote oil filter that comes up here also. We got the engine up on a chain here. We're gonna put the, uh, we got the dampener on. We're gonna get the, the uh, uh, bell housing on, and then we're gonna put on a pallet, we'll put on a trailer, take it under the dock, uh, and then hopefully we'll get it at least set in the boat today. And then, Next time we do this, we'll actually assemble the engine in the boat and maybe get it running. Good. All right, we're here at the boat. Engine's gonna go in there. We gotta get the dinghy off so that way we can pull the barge around over to the dock. We gotta put the big boat over on the guest dock, get the engine on the barge, pull it in here, put it up on the chain hoist, and then put the boat back in. So, yeah. All right, <laughs> taking the dinghy down off the back of the boat and getting it around to the side of the barge. And what you guys don't know yet is that this dinghy uh, breaks down on us. It's got an overheating issue, I think, because I was idling it too much uh, in, in low RPM, but we tried. And you're going to see here in a second, we ended up just kind of pulling the pulling the barge around. I don't go yet. I want to get the hose up here, and then I'll go for a ride and run me off. Coming in or going out? Uh, I can't tell. Here, we'll go to the back over here and reach me the. All right, coming down with the engine now. We had to adapt the dinghy went down, engine problems, so we kind of pulled rope it over here. I think the tide's on its way out, so we're gonna have to hurry up and get this engine on here and get it pushed out back into the boathouse and then back the boat back up in there when the engine's on its, up on the hoist. So, working against the tide, I think, a bit here. All right, well, this part's kind of sort of fun. We got the engine sitting here on this barge, and then uh, we're kind of paddling it around, pushing off the boat, pushing off boat houses until we get it into the boat house here, and then um, hook the chain up to it, and then it just kind of precariously dangles over the water, which is a little bit unnerving, but um, it's a process we have to do in order to make this work, so. Okay, so we're about there, ready to put the boat back in the boat house. But first, stern first, I guess. We got the barge back over there. So right now the engine's just kind of dangling over the water. Uh, and now we need to get the butt of the boat back in there and drop the engine down for today. And that's gonna be it. So yeah, if you guys can see from here, there's the engine just dangling over the water. And we gotta push this boat out, but first back over there, get it underneath, get the engine cover up and uh, Put it in place and then that's it for today all right so we're pushing <laughs> pushing the boat around uh fortunately we're pretty close to the guest dock and the other boat houses that we can use them to kind of push against uh here you see my buddy he's put the rope on the cleat in there we use it kind of as a pivot point then i go back around to the front push it around and come back and help him pull it all the way back in and then we have to lift the boat engine cover open and then lift it up enough to get the boat or the engine over uh, the stern there and then drop it back down. So this is basically the end of it uh, for today. Sorry, not a, not a lot of installation, more of just kind of docking, but kind of cool to see how the process goes. All right, Whoa. engine sitting in, just sitting in place on the mounts. Nothing's bolted in. We're gonna leave the chain hoist hooked up to it for now. Come back at it another day when we have more time and some more light. Finish bolting it up and hopefully get it running that day. But for now, that's going to do it for today. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time.